So we're live, just so you know. Oh. Hey, everybody. We're just going to use our phones to communicate with them this time? Uh, yeah, if you would stop stepping on everything, my God. Sorry. Why are you going the longest way around? I don't know, because the, I don't want to step over Paul that is the worst, so welcome to our show. We're super professional here. One day. One day. My dog's just going to roam around the spot. Ugh. Okay. Wow. That light's bright. Well... That's kind of what we need, though. It's your fault. You bought that light. The bulb? You bought the light. I believe that. I have a light set. Hey, everybody, I'm Paul. Oh, I figured we were, like, giving them a minute to, like... We can just say it if you want. But yes. We need to get uh, links and stuff for us. And I'm Paul. We need to get what? Links and stuff like that. Oh, it's fine. Do uh, you want to check the thing? See how it looks on our... Here's our test run, everyone, so bear with us. Ah, uh, doing this out of my house. I can hear like everything. That's good. Yeah, that should be good to go. Hi, hi, person or people watching? I don't know. Me? No, there's, <laughs> there's, there's, there's two. Some, there's two? There's two. <gasps> Somebody else is watching. How's it going, person watching? We're Geek Culture. I'm Jason. And I'm Paul. And uh, we're going to start doing a live podcast. Uh, we, it just sounds like something fun to do, and we're going to come to you every Friday at noon, and Paul Woodring is watching. That's good. That's nice of Paul. I'm yeah. going to turn that down, though, because they're probably going to hear it oh, yeah. back a thousand times. <laughs> did nice. I turn your phone off? No, you yeah, I pulled up my Bixby. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, so uh, we're going to do this every single Friday, hopefully, um, at noon. And we're just, it's going to be a live podcast. We're just going to talk about a bunch of stuff. We'll share links uh, in our chat. And um, if you have anything to say, well, we have the thing. We're watching the chat. And then we hopefully we'll have Dale next week uh, to take care of our chat room and all that stuff. And we'll share links. So anything we talk about, we'll be able to back up with uh, information. And uh, that you can, you know, click on yourself. Uh, or if you want to share anything, you know, that's kind of what we're going to do. I don't know. Oh, I left my notebook over there, so I'm going to go grab my notebook. Hey, everybody that's watching. What's up, Garrett? So professional. I am. I'm super professional. Garrett's watching, though. What's up, Garrett? Garrett comes to Bearded Brown Coat and plays magic and such. He's a, he's a good fellow. Oh, hey, everybody that's watching. Uh, if you're just joining us, this is going to be kind of an interactive live podcast that we're going to do... Hopefully weekly on Fridays at noon, because uh, we figured you're sitting down and eating your food, so you can hang out with us and talk about things. We are currently at my house, all my nerdy stuff, and that's our little sign thing for Mick Foley, not to brag or anything, Mick Foley. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so, oh, Garrett says, what's up? What's up, Garrett? So this is why we need a Dale. Yeah, right. Uh, so we don't have to, we need, our, we need a producer. But anyway, uh, so Paul, you want to start? Uh, yeah, so, um, this, this coming up week, I don't, how many days is it? Uh, it is going to be four days from four now. Four days from now, Disney Plus is going live. Right. And, uh, so we kind of thought maybe we could talk about, um, Disney and streaming stuff today. Yeah. Um, there's a thing on the bottom. We got a thumbs up from someone. Thank cool. you. Cool. Anyways, talking, I'll, watch, we're, uh, I'll talk. watch the chat. You, one thing at a time, Paul. Right. I need to focus. This headroom looks like my freaking house is like thirty feet tall. It is thirty feet tall. <laughs> well, the other room. Um. So, Disney Plus. Disney Plus. It's coming out in four days. If you're not excited, then I don't know what you're excited about. Yeah, I mean, it's gonna have a lot of cool stuff on it. It's um, gonna have a ton of cool stuff. Let me throw a number at you. 
It's going to have 7,000 episodes of television. And there's Jake. Yeah, you. Oh, Jake's watching. It was Sweet. Jake. Thanks, Jake. Uh, so 7,000 episodes of television, uh, which will be like Fox shows from when you were kids. Uh, it'll have a few restrictions here and there. It's going to have 500 films, uh, some of which you won't all get at the same time because rights are a weird thing. Uh, so Disney doesn't necessarily own all the movie rights. They have to like sub-license things out. Um, so there's, but there's a ton of stuff. The uh, Rise of Skywalker you won't get for a little, like the first year. You won't get the Solo movie for the first year. Uh, but we'll get the Mandalorian. Really? The Solo movie? Solo won't come out. It'll be within the first year. Um, but you can still watch that on Netflix. <laughs> right. And that's kind of the thing. So it's going to have Pixar, Disney, uh, Marvel, Nat Geo. Uh, oh, that's why that's, uh, I think I saw Nat Geo was getting pulled eventually. And BBC. Uh, the BBC, like, documentaries. Really? Netflix, yeah. Oh, well, yeah, because uh, I am of the belief that Netflix is not... Netflix is sadly going to die. It's not going to last. There's no way. I don't think it's going to There's no last. way. I know you say that, but I, I can't imagine that with Hulu being a part of the package now. And if you don't know that, Hulu is a part of the Disney Plus package. You, I believe it's... So Disney Plus, I think, is like a $7 price point. With Hulu Plus, it's or Hulu is added to it for like two friggin' bucks. So I don't understand how you wouldn't do that. And what does Netflix have other than some of the shows that'll? So Netflix owns the rights to some shows, and uh, Stars owns the rights to some of the movies. So there's some movies that you won't get uh, right off the bat. But we're gonna get Fox, 20th Century Fox. So like. Eek the Cat, like we were talking about earlier. Yeah, well, Maybe we'll I mean, get to watch Eek the Cat, and I love Eek the Cat. Uh, we could get The Tick. Um, they didn't, uh, Disney didn't pay, didn't buy their um, television rights. Like, yeah, I thought they had their shows. I don't know if they got their shows. I was, I thought they had their shows. Man, I could be wrong. Okay, however, Disney owns almost, well, they own the, I could have swore they had the Fox shows were coming to, uh, like X-Men will be coming. The, -na 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 -na. oh yeah. So that'll be on there. Um, yeah, Disney owns everything, uh, and if, so Stars, the only thing they had to do with Stars is they had to agree to, to sub-license their things, which they'll still have those movies from Stars. so, uh, uh, but Stars owns the license to them, and to get Disney to, uh, or Stars to agree, you get an ad that pops up, I guess, whenever you sign up for Disney+. Plus. You can pre-sign up right now if you do, it gives you seven days for free, so you should definitely do that, you got four more days to sign up, and then, uh, and I'm hoping... That it's, because it, Disney bought Hulu, so the streaming service should be pretty strong to start. I don't think that you should have any issues with it going down, other than the fact that 5 billion people are going to go on yeah, and watch, you know what I mean? There's never a company that's going to be able to just throw money at something to make sure nothing goes wrong. Right. It's Disney. Um, but yeah, so Netflix has 118 million subscribers. Okay. I don't see that. Well, but what's their trend though? Did you see their trend? Like, did they how? how well, they've that? been trending v positively They're until up. that might change after Disney comes out. I'm sure that's going to affect them a little bit, right. and it might start going back the other direction. But they've been trending positively ever since their conception. Yeah, but that's I mean, because that. But they didn't really a, have a competition like. Yeah, but now Netflix, they'll eventually. It's a. I had it written down somewhere. It's um, won't be immediate due to opt. Yeah, so HBO has some of their stuff too. Um, but with Netflix, other than Korean horror movies in Bollywood films, <laughs> yes. in Bollywood films, there what, is an increase what, in both. Of what those the things fuck on is? Netflix. What do they have? I don't know, but they've got like original Bollywood and Korean movies. Wow. I mean, uh, that's definitely what I want to watch. So Jeremy Martin and Buddy Bear just joined our watch. Uh, if you are just joining us, we're doing a live podcast every Friday at noon. And because uh, we can record it right out of my house. It's, you know, that's just how it's going to be, I guess, for a little while. And then we'll move on to other things, hopefully. And uh, you can always sponsor us. You can throw your money at us. We'll put ads up for you. We got our Geek Culture sign up there. We, you know, we are... It's all about uh, not making money. <laughs> We're like Disney. Just let us just... Or you can buy us Disney. We'll support you too. Because uh, this is not an advert for Disney. We are not getting paid for this by no. any stretch of the imagination. No, but we're both pretty but excited. I'm very excited. I have children too. So uh, having kids, them being able to watch 
anything that we want to watch now is it's going to be fantastic. I don't have to uh, go to 15 different streaming services. Like we yeah, have Amazon, we I have mean, Amazon Prime, we have Hulu, we have Netflix. If you have also if you haven't been like buying the DVDs or video of Disney movies throughout the years because they only release them from the vault every right. so often. Right. Then you might not have access to like every Disney movie. Yeah. Um, and then there's ones that you never see. And I'm, I actually am curious. I'd like to know if uh, the Black Cauldron will be on there because that's like Disney's stepchild that they don't want to, that they like to pretend doesn't exist. Uh, I don't know. I have a, I think I could pull something up. And it's a good movie. I know there was, I had their list up of this. Just doesn't stuff, have so. like a, it's not a typical Disney movie. Right. Uh, let me see if I can find the Disney Plus uh, list. Um, but, I mean, who, who is anybody more excited about anything besides The Mandalorian, though? Uh, the Mandalorian, yeah, I mean, yeah, I guess. <laughs> I'm not excited about anything anymore. He doesn't get excited about anything because he... I'm such a cynical bastard. He hates everything. I hate everything now, yeah. If he does like something, I'd check it out because... <laughs> Gotten I, through quite a uh, yeah my my rigorous... filter just <laughs> it's like that South Park where Stan only hears shit yeah the uh, quality control is it's very high right um, Mandalorian though the they're doing a it's got a good cast yeah they're supposed to be doing a week to week um, I believe so this is why we need we need Dale so he can pull this stuff up for me or somebody can send me a link um, yeah I'm not sure. It looks amazing. Yes, Mandalorian. Yeah, it does. It's got IG-88 in it. That is pretty cool. Uh, and, uh, you know, mm -hmm. it's about Mandalorian. <laughs> like, it's going to be awesome. Yeah. Oh, there's Jeremy. Friday noon is nap time. Well, Jeremy, you can listen to my soothing voice as you try to yeah. go to sleep. Listen to the docile toes we just will crash against sleep. the waves of your dreams. Um... We'll lower the sleep with The Mandalorian. Uh, so The Mandalorian lineup, the first episode will start on the 12th, so you'll get it right as Disney Plus comes out. Uh, hopefully, like I said, the the servers aren't bogged down. They they have an idea of what they're doing, uh, having Hulu take over. Um, but so it'll be the 12th, the 15th, and then it's a seven day, it looks like seven days from there on out. Um, so it'll be three days between the first and second episode, and then it looks like it's going to be a weekly release. Uh, I believe it'll be a Friday release. Which kind of sucks, because as streamer watchers, everybody's pretty used to everything just being released at once. Right. But the cool thing is, is you can watch The Mandalorian, and then come watch our show, or watch our sh and then we can talk about The Mandalorian. That's true. And then, uh... We won't just be like, let's ruin the entire show for everybody. Right. So watch it, and then come watch our show, and then we'll talk about it. And we're doing a spoiler section. We're going to talk section. about it. We're going to spoil it. I'm not gonna spoil the shit out of it, so sorry. I can't. I can't help it. Um. Watch it and <laughs> join in on the conversation. Right. Um, but other than the Mandalorian, there's also gonna be some Marvel shows. Oh, uh, the Jake was talking about the Obi Wan. Oh God, yeah. yeah. I'm well. I'm really looking forward to that too. Uh, he Obi Wan's my favorite Jedi. Yeah. I love the Ewan McGregor Obi Wan Kenobi. And, uh, there was a good book about Obi-Wan Kenobi. Yeah. About his time spent on Tatooine. Um, and, you know, I don't I just, I love the, the character he had, that, where he was just kind of, like, not the perfect master. Mm -hmm. Um, but definitely, like, the... Like the Samwise Gamgee of the story, you right? Know? Like he's definitely the good guy, right? Well, I love that they and he'll do anything. Well, I love that they got you and McGregor to be in the show. Yeah, heck like yeah. you're like, who else would you pick? He is Obi Wan. If the, without him, you wouldn't even. Well, it's like when they don't even make a show. Well, yeah, well, like when they remade uh, the Lion King, and you're like, well, you better get James Earl Jones because you can literally have you can replace the entire cast, which they did, um, but. Mufasa is Mufasa. Like, there's just... He's, he's also Danny, uh... Danny... Elfman? Tenet? <laughs> Danny Tenet? Yeah. From, uh... Doctor Sleep? He's, he's Danny Elfman. Um... 
Yes, the Obi Wan. And then you were talking about another Marvel shows. Marvel shows. Um, Dude, their lineup for Phase Four is insane. Basically, basically, it's Captain America and Winter Soldier, but it's Falcon. Yeah. And they don't even they they don't even call him Captain America. He, he's Captain. I don't know if he knows, but Falcon's Captain America. Yeah. Um. And then they're gonna have uh, the What If series. Yep, I was just pulling that up. Which is gonna have all the actors that portray their roles in the movies come and right. do their voices um, in this. Right, and it'll be just, it's an animated show, just so you know. Um, it's not going to be live action, but the animated part, I think, is going to be cooler, uh, just because you can do anything, you know. Right, um, and, and then, you don't have to rely on being able to get people to come play characters and stuff. So. Right, and then once you, when you're able to get the actual members uh, uh, for people that played them in the movie to be on the, uh, the show, it's going to be great. Um, yeah, and the What If comic book series was always one of my favorites. Right. They're, I mean, one one shot comics about what if this happened. Right. Like, the, instead of this, or what if so and so got this, and instead of so and so. What's up, Levan? Um. So yeah, that and Loki is getting a show. Is he? Yeah. Is it gonna be? Yeah. Is it like a live action show? No. I know. I think it's animated. Is it animated? It's, it's, I might be wrong. I don't know. Um, this is, I mean, there's where we need you. Yeah. It's or Dale. Hey guys, I'm in the chat, and I happen to know the answer to this question. Yes. Well, we'll defer to you. Yeah, for now. Next time, we'll have somebody to be more interactive. <laughs> to be the person who can find answers. She-Hulk is coming to Disney+. Plus. She-Hulk? There you go, she -Hulk. Awesome! Is it right. live action? She-Hulk? I don't know. And Black Widow, a, that's right. A superhero lawyer show would be so funny, with, especially with, like, you know... Big green lady lawyer. <laughs> big green lady lawyer. But she doesn't talk like that. Paul <laughs> can be on the show and he can Hey, I'm big green lady lawyer. Pretty big green lady lawyer. <laughs> yeah. Yep. And He's talking about Black, Black Widow. Black Widow's gonna be... That's gonna be a movie, though. Yeah, so... It, it's starring Tom... Yeah. So he's supposed to be in it, but we don't know if it's an animated show or not. Um, Disney Plus series. Yeah, so I'm looking at the... The stuff that they have. WandaVision, Loki, Hawkeye, Miss Marvel, Moon Knight. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah no, and, uh, yeah, WandaVision. Yep. The Falcon and the Winter Soldier will be in late, um, 2020. Then WandaVision, Loki, What If, Hawkeye, Miss Marvel, Moon Knight, and She-Hulk as well. I don't know Moon anything. Moon Knight? Yes, Moon Knight's supposed Moon to be Knight. getting one. Um... The Loki, Loki, doo -doo 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 -doo, limited series to star Tom Hiddleston, right? Um, stole a piece of the space, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, it doesn't really say anything else, whether it's going to be live action or not. I'm not really sure. Um, but yeah, there's supposed to be a lot of stuff that's going to be going on. They, I'm kind of excited for it, but I'm also like super burnt out on Marvel. I know. I know it's sacrilege, but I just there's so fucking much of it. I still have to see Joker. Like Joker, don't come to the show expecting him to be able to tell you what movies to watch. Don't. I don't see movies. You know the next movie I'm gonna go see is Frozen Two on <laughs> on November twenty second. So that if you want to talk about Frozen Joker Two, was, talk, Joker was good. Though. You want to talk about a Disney movie that's coming out that I'm gonna go see? It's Frozen. It looks really good. I don't care what you say. Frozen Two looks amazing. There's some like whole other. Uh, uh, castle and military, and they're it's gonna it's like just looks like fighting, and I'm all about that. Fight big wars, cool. Fight that ice queen, and they're all I don't know what they are. It's gonna be great. And Levan, see Frozen too. Don't don't hate. It's gonna be awesome. Watch the trailer for it, the news trailer for it. And don't tell me you're like no, nah, it doesn't look cool. <laughs> it looks cool. I'm not, I I'm not even gonna front. It looks fantastic. Joker right. was good. Are we gonna take our first break? Uh, yeah, actually, we do. We're time. We're past our time, so we're gonna take our first break. Uh, I don't know if I can mute the mic. <laughs> That's okay. But we are just gonna take a minute. Uh, we will be back in uh, just what a couple is it? minutes. Yep, just like a minute or two. This is where we would put in sponsorships and stuff like that. If you had any ads, uh, like I said, this is just kind of our rough start of this. Uh, it's an idea we had a few days ago, and we just thought we'd try to get it uh, going. Um. So yeah, we will be back in just a couple minutes.
Should play it something royalty free. I should play it like over it so that's all they can hear. But that's yeah. what we can do, you know, we can play their ads and stuff and have it uh hi puppy. There's a doggo vision in here. Doggo. You wanna say hi? Come here. Oh, this is my doggo. Her name is Peso. Say hi, Peso. Yeah. We are recording this outside of my house. Uh there is a person named Earl Schaefer. I would love that. Moon Knight rumor has it that Shia LaBeouf should star as Moon Knight. Because he is as crazy as Oh my god. Ever. Eric Weeks is here! Bro. What? There's a jerk! <laughs> There's a jerk's been spotted! <laughs> We're up to seven views. Hey everybody, we are on a break right now currently, but um, you can just watch. Like I said, this is our sponsorship time. We've come up with things that, you know, we would, uh, we would like to push. Matthew Knowles is here. Uh, <laughs> Matthew wow. Knowles is a fantastic guy. He does Heirs of Asiliador. Uh Matt, if you want to post the link, because I was going to talk about it later anyway, if you want to post the link to your Kickstarter, uh, you guys should definitely go and check it out. They have a fantastic series, him and Steph, and I can never remember their artist's name. Uh, they're awesome. Uh, and Jeffrey Epstein did not kill himself. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but they're, they're awesome guys. You should definitely check them out. Uh, like I said, if, uh, if Matt, if you want to throw the link up to all your stuff and promote it, by all means, I uh, would definitely love to have you on this uh, new show at some point. And uh, yeah, no, it's like I said, that's our that's our break time, but um, we will do some more promo stuff. Once I get rolling, it's hard for me to stop. Uh, right there, you go. There's a tiny URL. Uh, I will also put it up and share it on our page. And let everybody know, uh, Matt and Steph have been on Two Jerks numerous times, more than anybody else. Uh, That's right. <laughs> and uh, they're they're a great group of people. You should definitely support them. They have, I think, two weeks or so uh, time left in their uh, in their uh, Kickstarter. So definitely go get their stuff. And then you go to Beard of Brown Coat, uh, which is on uh, 500 Southwest 10th Street in Ocala and you can grab uh, their books there and then from their other stuff they probably have all kinds of links and everything you can go but yes I will shamelessly plug them all day long <laughs> uh, they're really good dudes uh, what does it say you got covers from Brian Silverbacks yeah so there you go you got all the information in there um, you guys can read so I'll let you I can't really see it from uh, where I am but yes just follow all Matt's stuff uh, anyway so streaming um, so, um, before we like technically come back, I just want to ask you. Oh, we're gonna technically not come back yet. We're not there you go, Matt. We're gonna, not technically Matt's back. Matt's gonna yet. fill your. Uh, you shouldn't chat be able some... to hear us right now. That's true, but Matt, <laughs> this is our. This is why we need a Dale. Dale, we'll, uh, you're fired. Um, speak amongst yourselves. I'll give you a topic. Rhode Island is neither a road nor an island. We'll talk amongst yourselves. Discuss. Um, so I have a quiz. Okay, on what? Oh, you okay. Do it to start off the segment, if you want to, it might be a good way to start. Yeah, that's fine. I was either saving it till the end or I'm doing it now. Let's talk about the season of Jack Ryan. I haven't got to see any it's Jack so Ryan. It's so good. I haven't got to see any Jack Ryan in it. And it's driving me insane because I love John Krasinski and, and Jack Ryan. And yeah, and uh, and I wasn't as. Uh, I just really want to see it. We're we're watching a trailer for it, and uh, or I walked in the room the other day, and my girlfriend was watching something, and I was like, "The hell are you watching a Jack uh, Ryan trailer for? Like you hate action stuff." And I'm just bewildered that she's sitting there watching it because if she doesn't like something, she's but not going to watch it's it. It's more than just an action. But she wasn't watching it. It was just an ad that was playing before something she was watching. So <laughs> I was I was so excited to be like, "Are we going to watch Jack Ryan too?" Uh, <laughs> we're not going to watch Jack Ryan. We're not. We're not watching Jack Ryan. You're not that lucky. Yeah. If I watch some kind of murder porn. Eric Weeks, I see y'all making moves. Keep it up. Interview with me. Thank you. Thank you for the. Uh, uh, Eric is an awesome dude. Uh, we worked with him as in wrestled uh, many yep. moons ago. Uh, he's the jerk. We, we started, uh, myself and him, started to feud each other, and then we never did. Right? <laughs> uh, he's an awesome guy. We used, I don't. I think he might he still be me in the face, and I'm, I never got retribution. I think he's still managing, or I've seen pictures yeah. of him managing. I think he still works. Um, uh, uh, Frizza. He still wrestles. 
Yeah. Not freaking A. Freaking A is the bike. He rides his bike. Uh, but his brother, he still wrestles. He's a beast. He's yeah. a beast. He grew out his hair real long. Big old beast of a guy. Um, I think Eric's the only one I got on my Facebook. I got a few of them. I watched um, uh, freaking A. He, uh, which congratulations on your marriage and all that. Um, but I watched him uh, bike across the country with his now wife. Oh my it's god! Fucking insane. Sorry about the F bomb, but it's just what we do. Um, <laughs> but if you don't want us to pay us, and then I won't swear. Yeah, then we, you know, if you sponsor this and it's not, and you're like, man, I don't like the fact that you swear. Okay. Ta ching. He culture. Uh, but anyway, so we do have decent vocabularies. We do. We know words good. Okay, so coming back into, uh, we're gonna transition into a quiz. Okay. When was the last time you took a quiz, Jason? Right now? No, this hasn't happened yet, so it's not. Well, you're quizzing me time. now, right? Yeah. <laughs> um, I don't know. I haven't had to take, a, a, long had long to take a test in a long time. All right. So I'm gonna quiz him about uh, facts and stuff about streaming. Okay. Um, facts. Facts. Streaming facts. Cold hard facts. So, your first question. What is the percentage of adults who have never subscribed to a streaming service? Is it 15% or 29%? They've never subscribed to a streaming service? Like, is this in the United States? Yes. 15. 29. Really? Yeah. Bullshit. Oh, well, okay. Officially, that I, was say, <laughs> that I was gonna say. How does that take into account that, like, if I sign no. up, you don't have to sign up? See, fifteen percent. That's what yeah, I thought it's too. The only ones. What he said, fifteen percent. But no, it's it's. I see. I thought fifteen percent would make more sense because you. Uh, Damn it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, the thirty percent, I guess one third of the people haven't because see, they mean, borrow it. Because you, you do have be, you do have the help that they can be help they can be helping. They you. can. But three... You so, just better not be looking it up while you, before you put up your answer. Yeah. Well, they'd have to leave the thing. So they're not watching this computer, so it's not like they're opening up another tab. So, next question. What's the leading online leading company time. in the U.S. by average number of users? Okay, what was it again? What's the leading online radio company in the U.S. by average number of users? Is it Spotify or Pandora? Spotify or Pandora? Uh, see, I use a lot of Pandora. Uh, Amazon? Amazon's not? <laughs> Is it Amazon Spotify? I don't know. See, I don't use Spotify. I use Pandora because I'm an old man. I don't think I don't think Amazon is as high because they don't have podcasts. Oh, Amazon Music. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and then you... And then Because I paid for it for a month because my kids want to listen to Disney music. And I have Alexa, so Alexa can play it for me. Um, but I would probably say Spotify only because Pandora's older and I don't know if anybody uses it. And I always hear about Spotify, but I never really hear about Pandora anymore. You sure about that? I'm not, but I think Spotify is more like hip and with it. It might be, but the answer is Pandora. Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay. Well. All right. Third question. Number of podcast listeners in the U.S.? 73 million or 273 million? Oh my god. Uh, in the US? 73 million. I couldn't imagine it'd be two. There's like how many people? 400 million people yeah. in the United States or something like 273 that? 273 million sounds ridiculous, doesn't it? It sounds like half, that would be like half the country. I don't know our population, but I know it's got, if it's, even if it's 500 million people in the US. So you don't think half the country could listen to... They listen to pod... No! It, just a podcast. It doesn't have no. to be multiple. It no, just... half the country? No. All I right. Don't, I don't think half the country... The answer is computer. 73 million. Yeah, it has to be. Because I listen to podcasts, but when I talk to other people about podcasts, other than you, nobody else <laughs> listens to fucking podcasts. So let's start a podcast. But it's crazy because, like, you should. Podcasts are so much fun to listen to. I listen to podcasts in the morning when I wake up, especially if my kids aren't up. 
because I'll get coffee and I'll make breakfast or something and I listen to Jim Cornette and uh, or just whatever and it's it's like you're it's not so boring because I'm just sitting there just bored like oh, this sucks I'm just cooking it's like having, it too. having somebody it's like having somebody there with you and you're just having a conversation mm -hmm. um, and you're that's just you're just, just listening listen to their to opinion of the conversation so I like that and that's kind of what we're doing about this we segmented it's like shit but like I said that's what we need our we need our other person we need a producer we do uh okay so where were we uh we did oh. 73 million fourth question most popular question. streaming service in the u.s by monthly active users at 197.5 million is it youtube see 327 i thought it was like 330 and i only knew that because of fifa the soccer game told me 330 uh, a couple years ago so i thought it went it went up um but yeah, I did. <laughs> FIFA actually tells you when you play the game all the population of other countries. And, uh, wow. It does, yeah. So when you, in any country. Uh, so that's how I learned 330, but I figured it, I guess 3 million people have died and we haven't replaced them. Uh, I, <laughs> I have replaced some of them. He's, <laughs> I've he's, replaced done, them. He's, he's made his quota. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's made his and mine. Oh, yeah. So Probably I'm, yours, too. I don't need to worry about it. Yeah, okay. All right, so most popular streaming service in the U.S. by monthly active users at 197.5 million. Is it YouTube or Pornhub? <laughs> Shit! <laughs> How many? 197.5 so who million. Ha so who has the most? Are okay? Are these the, are these? That's the, the most. Are these the of top any service? Are these the top two services? Because I think they would be. These are One the two? answer and an answer I made up. Oh, you made up YouTube. Uh, <laughs> an answer you made up. Stephen Frick, speak of the frickin' devil. Um, <laughs> what's up, Frick? We were just talking about how awesome you are and all your wrestling stuff, man. Uh, congratulations on all that cool stuff you're doing. Um, I would love to wrestle you again, and you can catch me this time by yourself. and No problem. Unless it was your brother <laughs> that dropped me. I don't remember. Uh, anyway. Um, I think the answer is probably gonna. Be... <laughs> yeah, you definitely use <laughs> Um, but yeah, you're only one person. That's true. Uh, let's go with YouTube because I don't know if that many people. There are some some nasty bastards. Uh, yeah, let's go with YouTube. YouTube's correct. <laughs> okay. I, because I don't think as many people are going to sign up. I knew it would at least be like questionable. You'd be like, could it be Pornhub? Well, see, it I could th be Pornhub. I Porn thought Hub. it would be Pornhub, but when you say active subscribers, now people that use it, Pornhub, um, probably more. People use it. It's just, if you use those websites, people aren't no, just, it's, not well, that I would know, but it's you're not generally. It's not active subscribers, it's active users. Yeah, those people, well, I don't know how they, how they do that. Um, degenerates, yeah. Degenerates. That's degenerates. Who, that's who do it. <laughs> degenerates. Uh, all right. Most common device for watching online videos: smart TV or smartphone? The phone. I. Yeah, I think I think everybody's got a smartphone. It's true, but it's, it's smart TV. <laughs> what? Yeah, I couldn't believe it. Do they have they a really percentage have, or anything? I was like, well, I'm using that as a question. Do they have a percentage or? Uh, no, it was just the, it was like, cool facts about streaming. Um, most so commonly weird. used app used to listen to podcasts in the U.S. in 2018. Okay. Stitcher. Stitcher, I know you're going to say Spotify. that. Or Spotify. Uh, I think it's Stitcher. I don't know though. I listen to a lot of podcasts, and Stitcher's the one I oh that always sticks out. Spotify does too. It's probably Spotify. I feel like. Let's go with Stitcher. It's Spotify. Of course it is. I'm the best at this game. You are currently failing <coughs> your quiz. I'm super failing. I think I like one. Uh, no, I think you got two. Where did you get these stats from? Oh, Jake's calling fake news. <laughs> I can find it. I think I can find it. It should be on your history. Didn't you just look yeah. these up? Well, he's finding those. Um, what is your favorite streaming service? Do you watch Netflix? Do you still watch Korean horror movies and Bollywood films? Uh, do you like 
any Netflix shows currently? Uh, what is your favorite show on TV right now? Sam's watching a show uh, about a, I don't know, woman that makes pies. <laughs> it's a, uh, God, what's that? She's a famous British actress, and I sound like such a fool right now. Um, I wish I could remember it. Um, but there is a, I don't think I'm watching anything currently. We watch Family Guy, as you should see my daughter, and my 16 month old doesn't watch the show, but whenever you uh, turn the theme song on, she goes friggin' bonkers. Uh, Castle Rock. See, Castle Rock, I watched the first few episodes of, and I really liked it. I really want to see that show. And then, and then show. we just kind of dropped off. I don't know what happened. We just dropped off from watching it. Uh, I did see some really cool things about how, um, hey, everybody that's watching, um, how, like, there's ghosts everywhere. Oh, you, you giving them anything? Oh, that's my phone. Sorry about that. Uh, yeah, Watchmen's pretty cool. I'm enjoying it. Oh, yeah. Your favorite is Watchmen. On HBO. Andrew. What's up, Andrew? Uh, binge too many episodes of The Amazing Race to Count. Andrew. Andrew, congratulations, man. Another person that uh, Andrew had a little beautiful baby. Um, so, and I just saw him a month or two ago. He just popped out of nowhere, came to the shop. Uh, so, Amazing Race is what you guys watch. That is something. <laughs> yeah. So you weren't congratulating him on watching. No, like, no, no. You had a child, so congratulations. Do not. <laughs> I, I repeat, I do not congratulate <laughs> you on Amazing Race. Uh, if you want it, then yes, that would be awesome. If this is you training for it, which they might still do, they still do Big Brother. Uh, Sam's family makes bets on it every year, and they uh, bet on their person, and then it's like two bucks a piece or something like that, or five bucks a piece, and then. There's 20 of them that do it in her. It's like her whole family does it. It's bonkers. That would make it more interesting to watch. Them. But they bet on their people and then yeah. they watch it. But it's awful. Actually, that does that kind of sounds fun. But I'd have to watch the whole. Season. So maybe we can do that next time, next season, some show like that. Let's we'll pick make... a show we like. No, it's got to be terrible because I don't like reality TV <sighs> at all. Shit. We don't have to. We can just watch the last five minutes and see who gets watch cut. Big Brother or something. Oh no, I couldn't do it. But we could get into their bet and then we could tell everybody how we do. I don't have to watch it. We'll just oh, we just can find out how we're doing. Yeah, we'll tell. Well, I'll have Sam's mom watch it, and uh, and then she could she could do all the work for us. Uh, but right now, I'm binging Star Trek: The Next Generation. It's on Netflix. I didn't know that. Yeah, man, whole series. Really? Uh, multiple Star Wars series are on there. I think almost all of them, except for the newest one. Really? Okay. So, are we? You have any more? I've got quiz? one more question for you. You're currently failing. You've only gotten two right. <coughs> two out of like six. Yes. Yeah. See, so I got that right. <laughs> Three for seven, motherfuckers. However, this question is worth <laughs> three times as many points as all the other ones. Okay. And if you get it right, you will pass. I'll pass my streaming test. Yes. And I'll be allowed to watch TV again. But he won't. I won't. <laughs> I don't have time. <laughs> I watch shows to fall asleep to, and then YouTube, because I can watch it on my phone. Um, okay, so in one year, one anonymous Netflix user watched Pirates of the Caribbean, Curse of the Black Pearl, a staggering number of times. How many times did this one user watch this movie? Is this question about me? Because any, any time, that's one of the few movies that any time it's on, I'm watching it. If I'm flipping through that, like the Green Mile, um, there's a couple other ones. But if I'm going through Forrest Gump, if I'm going through movies and it's on TV, if I ever had TV, um, I'm watching that fucking movie. Uh, I could watch it. I could watch it at least once a week. Um, so let's. So that'd be 52. Um, I'm gonna go. I'm not looking at your thing. I'm looking at that. Uh, Shawshank Redemption. That's another one. Yeah, um, it is. <laughs> so 52 at once a week. I'm going to go 300. Do you want a hint? Is it more than 300? It is more than 300. But it's not. that's not the hint I was going to give you. Okay. The hint I was going to give you is that he watched this a staggering number of times in one year. So then 365 <laughs> times. Yes, he watched it 365. He watched it once a day for a year. Oh, he should have picked a leap year because that's dedication. <laughs> <laughs> he might still be doing it. 
they had only gotten the figures for that year. So we're like, okay, well at least they only watched it once a day. I love that. Maybe movie, he just like falls asleep to it every night. You know. You could. I couldn't though. Right when I hear the theme. <laughs> yeah, you're like, yeah. I'm watching this movie. It's 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 a really good movie. Um, All right, so you barely passed your test. I did. I passed it. Yay! It was staggering a number of times that you missed answers. Oh, cool! You know what my dog has done? She has ripped her little toy <laughs> to pieces. I was like, oh, is that poop? No, that's not poop. That is its eye. Um, so thank you. Andrew, uh, next year's a leap year, so there you go. Let's set a new record. Uh, Andrew has uh, pledged himself to set a new record for right. Pirates. Instead of watching Amazing Race. <laughs> amazing Race every night. Your Amazing Race can be watching it 366 times. It's a marathon. It's a marathon. You're going to run it all year. It's going to be awesome. It's only like two and a half hours out of your life. Or pick a different movie. Yeah, any of them. You can be the person that watch one. You can be the person that watch the Dracula. That's like a fifty minute movie. Watch a really old movie. If you watch the movies from nearly a hundred years ago now, well, you got to pick a movie that's gonna still be on there for a year. Oh, for Netflix. Yeah. Well, could you pick any streaming service? So do it for Disney. There you go. Watch a Star Wars movie. Watch a New Hope, three hundred and sixty six times. Uh, then you can actually be the guy who can talk about it. Because you've seen every freaking part of it, right. so, um, yeah, do that. Uh, why, ways to make your new kid hate you for 200, Alex. Yes. Um, <laughs> luckily, your child's small enough, they don't know what the heck's going yeah, on. Yeah, they like, this is normal. Yeah. Doesn't everybody watch Star Wars every day? Every day? It's only three hours out of your life for 366 days. And that just means there's another person that it can stream for instead of you. Right. Like, you know, maybe you don't have to watch it. Yeah. Make your kid watch it every night. That's only like a thousand hours out of your life. I mean, you don't need to be so selfish. You have this finite amount of time. But a thousand hours is really not that much, right? And you got a kid. They can, they're can they just going to sit there. But we are going to take another break. Uh, we will be back in just a couple minutes. I need to get some more water. And uh, then we will finish up with all of our hey, go see this, or check us out on this, and all that fun stuff. So this is another opportunity where you would get to put your ad into our show. Absolutely. And we'll be back in just a couple minutes. Ba, 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 ba. Watch Unikitty. What's up? Banana and sausage. Banana and sausage. <laughs> Banana and sausage. What a great breakfast. Hi. I gotta make sure I get everybody's little links in here. Ooh. EA has abandoned the trademark for Skate 4. So I... I apologize. Skate 4 will not be coming out in case you were wondering. It will not be there. Right, let's see if I can give you a couple of quick little newsies. Um, here's in 2020 I can no longer buy the 100 hour RPG. It's true. As a guy that has children and people that may also have children, it is much harder for me to play a game that requires an obscene amount of time. I have been playing Red Dead 2 for a year and I just got my fishing pole. So it shows you, and I love Red Dead. I love all those kind of games. I just don't have the amount of time to play them anymore. So I would love for uh, stories to be a little shorter sometimes. Just give me like a, a patched version where I can play the fun parts and get it all done. Like I love the Elder Scrolls and I love having all those games, but I just don't have time. It's, it's absolutely insane. Having children gives you no time to do anything. I don't want posture. This is killing me. Uh, you can see I got a lot of pops. I got Stratego, Lord of the Rings. Uh, I got me some Dumbledore and Gandalf and Drake Snake over here. Uh, Iron Man. I'm a big Iron Man guy. I got Jar Jar Binks. You know, everybody's favorite Star Wars character right there. Um, he's awesome. 
You can check us out on Geek Culture. Uh, we, you're on Geek Culture now if you're watching this. Uh, it's geek.culture on Facebook. And we are on YouTube at G33K Culture. Uh, it's youtube.com slash G33K Culture. Uh, you'll get all the stuff again. Uh, like I said, this would be an opportunity for you to put an ad in. Uh, we would just have a couple minute break. Um, Paul likes to smoke his cigarettes too, so I can smell his stinky cigarettes. We got a lot of stuff coming on the show uh, soon, so definitely check it out on YouTube. And our Facebook, we're going to be doing a lot more uh, recording. There's just all kinds of stuff that we are going to have. And like I said, this would be a good opportunity if you'd like to sponsor us to put your ads into this, uh, this spot. And we can um, go out to all of our users. And like I said, we have it on YouTube. And this is just my pandering to get you to sponsor the show. And uh, get us really good mics and all that stuff. Uh, but I do uh, thank you very much for joining us. This has been a lot of fun for the first episode. We will continue to do this every single week. Oh, I think I can hear Paul coming. So as Paul comes back to join the show, um, I'm going to give you... Uh, I don't know if I can have... I'll get the link at some point. Um, but... There is a, oh. let's see if I can share this, I should unlike it, unfollow him, thou show him. Um, so there is a page for, oh god, why can't I, save, no, recommend, yes, um, so there is a page for our friend Z. he is having some issues with his health. Currently, oh Sam is watching. Hey, honey, <laughs> you love me, and I see that you're watching me. <laughs> um, <laughs> we have seen you. Uh, so, Save Ziggy is a uh, organization that's going on for our friend. He's had some health issues, uh, and he needs your help. Uh, apparently, he has learned that uh, health insurance is not as great a thing as he was promised. <laughs> that's not a slight political thing at all. Um, but he does, <laughs> he needs your help and, uh, things are kind of screwy and, uh, you can go to save Ziggy. I will make sure to post a link. I, for some reason, can't, uh, share the thing right now. Uh, but if you just go on your Facebook and you type in save Ziggy, you'll be able to find him. You can, it'll link you to all the stuff to help him out. Uh, I don't know how short of his goal he is, but he's not too far off. He actually had some other complications in his leg now where he tore his MCL or something pushed in to then tear his MCL. So he's got a bunch of issues going on. But you should go and help him. Uh, he's a good dude. And uh, and yeah, that's Save Ziggy. Uh, what about you, Paul? Anything? Uh, no. <laughs> Always prepared. Uh, you can check us out on uh, YouTube. You can go to youtube.com slash G33K. I know it's crazy, but... That's just what it's going to be. Uh, G33K Culture. Um, we're Geek Culture. You can just type in Geek Culture. If you type in Space Kings, you'll also find us. It's a really good series that we are doing. We have a lot of episodes of that coming out. I think we've recorded 12 more episodes um, since our first three that we have. Or at least 10. I think we're 10 episodes more than we did. So at least. A, yeah, so that's at least, at least 10 hours of more content just for that. Because some of those episodes run pretty long. Uh, but it's a uh, RPG that we do. It's a lot of fun. Um, we get entirely too drunk when we're playing it. It's super drunk. Uh, not every episode, but sometimes. It, but that's kind of the idea of the game. It's, Usually tell which one's the last one that we right. recorded that night. Right. Yeah. It's a, it, I, in two or three episode spurts is when, <laughs> when things kind of start to get wonky. But that's the idea. It's supposed to be D&D. The guy made it a D&D game generally that you could play when you're drinking, so you can just have fun with your friends. Yeah, and it's, it's, real, it's so simple that you don't have to be like, oh, I don't have to think about yeah. these numbers and stuff. No, nope. just what's that number, what's that number, flip that many cards. It's very basic. Um, so check that out. We have a lot of stuff coming out. Uh, we are going to continue to do this show uh, every single week, uh, unless there's some crazy... Every Friday for your lunch. Friday at noon, so you can just gobble us in uh, while you... <laughs> While you're watching, uh, you watch us and and uh, gobble, eat your us food. gobble us in, and well, you know, Turk, your Thanksgiving is coming up, so you can just gobble, gobble while you're drinking your Wawa's or whatever you drink. Wawa, if you'd like to support us, we uh, we have our information. 
<laughs> we love to be sponsored yeah, by Wawa. Right. Wawa and Disney. <laughs> All right. Come on! Yeah, I mean, come on. This is awesome. Make it happen. We've got three people watching. Three currently live. One of which might be my girlfriend. <laughs> she It's not. She probably just poked in to see that I'm an idiot and still doing this and then go. Um, <laughs> yeah, she doesn't. She doesn't. She does not care about the YouTubes. It's crazy. Or the Facebook. Well, she cares about social media. She gets the kids out for an hour while you do this. It's true. My house is quiet. It's never like this. But anyway, um, you can also, uh, we're going to set up a Patreon because we have a lot of stuff going on in our actual lives that's not this. So it is harder for us to do this and coordinate schedules. Um, so the more help that we can get from you, the more the content we can provide. Uh, and right, less... I mean, and I, I, we can talk about things that we're wanting to do and, you know, Funding would make all this so much easier and yeah. better. We we have a show that we 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 are talking yeah, about. Yeah, so we're talking about doing like a scripted show, and uh, that's good. Oh, look, she really is watching. Yep, she called me boy. <laughs> Call me boy. Like yo, it's okay. <laughs> like Arthur. It's okay, boy. But yes, uh, we have a show that we uh, we are trying to get off the ground. We come up with a lot of crazy uh, scenarios and characters and stuff like that and right. we're always trying to figure out like skits to do for these stupid things but why not just put it into a show right so we're working on that um basically writing it right now yeah it it's been fun uh the skit show is a, is a really fun idea because i love doing podcasts and i love doing stuff like this but one of my favorite things is when we get to do our short films i love just i'm that whole process is just so much fun uh it, it, i am not experienced in filmmaking but the whole process i have such a blast yeah it, just acting uh like idiots in front of the camera right fun, so. yeah we, yeah exactly um and that's basically what the show would be it would just be us us like us and dale ridiculous versions of us right um the worst versions of us <laughs> me the <laughs> me Paul is me. <laughs> um. <laughs> the ridiculous version of me apparently is just normal. Him. It's normal me. It's twenty year old me. So we're all gonna be me in our in my twenties. And because uh, <laughs> he was the worst. I was the worst. Um, but yeah, there's gonna be all kinds of stuff like that. We do podcasts. I would like to do more uh, board game videos. There's so much more that we'd like to do. It's just that we don't um, necessarily have the the time because we have we have to work we have to actually you know we have to we have, have regular jobs, jobs too. yeah we have regular jobs i mean my real job is it's that not I work, a real it's job. not a real job i work at a comic shop it's a fantastic job i work at bearded brown coat on 500 southwest 10th street uh suite number 200 in ocala florida 34470 uh michael madeiras is the owner and he's an awesome guy and that's my job it's pretty good there but like i said it's, i have a real job he does not um, but it's, I he does not, it's, doctors have real jobs. Um, uh, any job's a real job. Don't, don't like, we're not demeaning that. If, even if you shovel shit or work in McDonald's, it's a job. Whoever says that, that it's not, you can go screw themselves. You're making money. Um, but to work less and be able to do this more, we would need your help. And that's not us pandering or, or it is slightly pandering, but we were actually going to do something for it. Work less at our other job. Other job, and right? Work more on this. On this, because we do, we can do a lot of stuff. Em and I came up with this idea three days ago, and here we are. Uh, we we once we're motivated, we're going to do it, and uh, we would like to continue bringing more of these shows to you. It's going to be an hour long. I just realized I still have seven more minutes. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, doing that Disney Plus thing, I'm like, yeah, man, we can make that thing last a whole hour. It out. And then we're like most of the way through the beginning of my or through my notes, and I'm like. Oh, we're eight minutes in. <laughs> uh, but so, yeah, it's a good thing we milked that quiz. Oh my God, yeah. Good thing Jake was here to help us out. I know. Um, so thank you, Jake, for being there. Maybe Jake can be our producer. Yeah, right. Um, he can be our our um, social media. Yeah, he'll be our social media guy. Uh, and then uh, yeah, we're gonna like I said, we're gonna do this every Friday that we can. We'll be live at noon, so you'll be able to gobble us in. Uh, <laughs> Only say that because how much he hates it. Uh, and yeah, we will have sponsors. We'll play ads and all kinds of stuff. And we'll do, uh, 
and we'll, we'll put more links into the things that we're going to talk about so you'll, you'll be able to see everything that we um, are mentioning and uh, we'll interact with the chat because we have it posted straight up. We're just recording this on my iPad right now. And uh, any aspiring people, that's as easy as it is. Um, phones are so advanced now that when it comes to your camera, you don't need to buy a $400 camera like I did. Just use your, your iPad or your phone. <laughs> Quality is outstanding. Uh, but yeah, that this has been our show. And like I said, we still got a few minutes left. So anything you got, anything you want to talk about before we, we head out? Um... I'm the word guy in this group, Paul's the idea guy. The idea guy. He's not. He's not. He throw things against the wall and then I clean them up. That's what happens. Ideas. <laughs> He's like, <laughs> and I'm like, but in. <laughs> yeah. And I'm just like, <laughs> and <then> All right. <laughs> Paul. Paul throws shit out the window and I squeeze it down. Um, show us your boobs. Wow. <laughs> real professional uh, that is the mother of my children everyone <laughs> yeah mm -hmm. nope <laughs> so Paul at least she's watching she's still watching <laughs> she's still watching your first comment came in a little while ago and you're still watching so that's awesome yeah we did a, she's we, been watching this whole segment that's awesome this is our best segment yet uh, but yeah so the Disney Plus thing you should be you should definitely go check it out December December November twelfth is when it starts. I am I'm stoked. Uh, hopefully, uh, I have that's like one of my first of two days off. So uh, that's all I'm gonna do. The kids and I will just sit in front of the TV and watch whatever they want. Cause hopefully it won't be it won't be bogged down by all the nonsense. Uh, they do have um, Hulu backing them up, so that's really good. I don't know how if they run off of Hulu servers or how any of that nonsense works. Yeah, cause once I if I pay for it and I go to watch Mandalorian. <laughs> And it's yeah. just like a spinning wheel of doom. Right. I'm just going to be... I'm going to be upset. Yeah, I don't blame you there. It's going to be like WrestleMania all over again. Well, this last WrestleMania was really good. But yes. Uh, oh, yeah, no. WWE yeah. streaming services. Oh, my God. That was... that, and, it, and it's got... There are bad ones. There are ones that do not work very well. Like, it, the Funimation one is awful. Is it? I haven't tried it. Yeah, that. it's like you try to, like... Go to the next episode and it'll just freeze on you. Yeah, Dodie Network just doesn't work. It's like you a fatal error, restart the program. You're like, what? Yeah, it's I just, just want to watch your pay per view. Everyone's trying to watch the pay per view. Yeah, but they've been doing this for years now. You got. I know. They should be used to the 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 servers being bogged down. And then Funimation, I have no idea. I, I can't imagine they're so. It seems busy. more like a pro like a program issue or something okay. with them because it just stops. It doesn't weird. seem like it has to do with bandwidth or something. Like I'm, I would assume that the WWE one would be like a bandwidth issue. There's right. just too many people trying to watch, right? And they don't have the servers to keep up. But the fact that they haven't, they still don't, right? Is crazy. Yeah, it doesn't make any sense. WWE has so much money from getting Fox money and Saudi money, or maybe not Saudi money. We don't Saudi know money. Going. Well, they are. Um, <laughs> that's why they're going there, or they're not getting it now. I don't know. There's a whole thing about that. You should look it up. It's insane. Even if you don't care about wrestling. The whole thing is insane. Uh, but yeah, definitely check that out. Uh, once again, you can, if you haven't liked us or followed us already, you should definitely should. You should go to our YouTube and subscribe. We're going to have a lot more stuff coming up. It's been kind of quiet for a little while. Uh, we did the Mick Foley thing and then things kind of dropped off, but we're that's done. We're going to be trying to come out with at least three hours of content a week. Uh, this will be one of the hours, and then we uh, will go from there. So just keep checking us out. Uh, thanks for joining us. Uh, geek culture and YouTube and Facebook and I think we might even have an Instagram. I don't know if we use it, um, but yeah, definitely follow us. Uh, <laughs> you can, uh, you we will provide links and all that stuff. I'll probably go back into the chat and add some things. Uh, but thanks for joining us. This has been a lot of fun. Um, how much? Okay, yeah, I still got two more minutes, so I guess I'll sit here for two more minutes. <laughs> do do do. Huh. Yep. Mm. This has been good. I've had a lot of fun. This is where we take our break. <laughs> our last segment's a <laughs> commercial. Oh, I'm getting another phone call. So, uh, but that's uh, we're not going to go with that one. But once again, thank you for joining us. Uh, my name is Jason, and I'm Paul. And we hope to see you guys uh, again next week. Let us know how you, what you thought of the show. 
If there's any suggestions or anything that you would like, uh, post them in here or send it to uh, send us a message or whatever you got to do. Like I said, we're going to try to do this every single week. On uh, Did you tell him Dale's going to be playing through? Oh, yes. Dale's actually going to be doing uh, Detroit. Detroit, uh, Become Human. Yes. So watch out for that. Dale's going to be doing a, a series on that. Uh, I might be doing some just random Red Dead videos because uh, I have a lot of fun. Just, just and doing I might nonsense. join him if right. he gets his PS Plus. <laughs> yeah, if I get my PS Plus, I'm like, I don't know, I don't play video games that much. But anyway, thanks for joining us. Uh, this has been the Geek Culture Podcast. I have no idea what we're calling it, but the Geek Culture Podcast. So Sure, whatever. I'm Jason. I'm Paul. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.